of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, we don't like to throw around the word dynasty loosely, but for the Chiefs, it applies. I mean, they're looking for their third title now in five years. And with the way this league is configured now, it absolutely applies. I think you're totally on target. Remember, they lost a Super Bowl in there, too. So to be back for the fourth time in five years... In today's NFL, that's pretty incredible. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they're trying to pull off what only three teams have done before, go from Super Bowl losers to Super Bowl champions. Last team to do that, the Patriots, Super Bowl 52 and 53. Before that, you've got to go back to the Dolphins in Super Bowls 5 and 6 and the Cowboys in Super Bowls 4 and 5. underway here in Las Vegas. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. This is second and eight. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Mahomes throw complete there to Rice. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. 
Phillies offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. As we begin the Super Bowl, we're looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing his hurts. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Fighting his... But now he's swallowed up and taken down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. He's got Brown on the out route complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play, and immediately got to the pass. Mahomes now to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Throw left side complete, that's Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, 
Get it out to him. Mahomes to throw on second down. Finding Gray on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Now here's Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And again, it's Mahomes. That's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's second and 10. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Here's Mahomes to throw. That is caught. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. That is caught by Rice. Touchdown, Kansas City. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Chiefs are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Brandon, this is the Super Bowl. A touchdown scored in any game is big, and this one, it's massive. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10.
Hurts sets up to throw it. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Goes right back to Smith again. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Five yards, now it's third and five. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to put that first down, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 32-yard line. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll look to throw again. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7-0 is our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the date on the calendar we circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to be. And he will take this one in for an Eagle touchdown. Saquon Barkley, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this Super Bowl at seven. A strong run there, boy, when he gets it, especially around the goal line, like a bull in a china shop. And none of us ever want to confront that bull in any China shop, do we? Any more than we want to confront him. Got behind his pads, ran with power, and got into the end zone. What an asset around the goal line, a guy like that. It's almost like a safety blanket, isn't it? When all else fails, hand it to this big back and let him power his way forward.
Elliott good with a PAT. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To throw, it's Mahomes. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. It's complete to Brown, right side. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This is brought in at the 21. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. But first down, it hurts. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Campbell. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw 
maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Throwing his hurts. Got him in. It's Brown. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. From the gun, it's Hurts. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. That's multiple times now. He's tagged him with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. Here's Hurts to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Barkley is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Partner, it's been my experience that after two stops like that near the goal line, defense has only become bolder. They don't back off at all. I think they continue to bring pressure and force them to make a really big play against them. And the incompletion, then the run for no gain. But he will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Eagles have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now Mahomes. Open man right side is Rice. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Got to love a guy who'll stand in there and deliver. No matter what the pressure, waits for the route to come open, hangs in there, and completes the pass. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. And there's a situation where as a tight end, once he gets that end zone in his sights, he's not going to back down from anyone. He doesn't worry about running to daylight. He doesn't mind running through contact. That's totally fine by him. Butker now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. A drive that time of six plays. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And out now come the Eagles. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. They'll give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on the keeper the moment it revealed itself. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. A first down carry for Barkley. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. 
A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Hurts. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Hurts sets up to throw it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 40. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. <laughs> And I feel a little bit like a traitor as a former defender because that big man did not want to go down and refused to go down. If you're a defender and you'll get the right angle on a big tight end like him, he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw complete there to Rice. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Second down in the yard. Mahomes to throw once more. And his pass incomplete. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so he wisely just gets rid of it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now here's Mahomes. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Short yardage situation, you have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Rasheed Rice. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Butker on for the PAT.
It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's tapped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. There's a short one caught by Uzama. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. spot to take a shot here second and a yard from the 34 hurts a quick throw there is incomplete they tried to throw on second down unsuccessful now it's third and one They'll set up a throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. Catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. Trying to lay one up deep. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Final shot before the half from Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments. And it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, we thanks as always. This one's still slinger. anyone's game Patrick as we Mahal. welcome you back He threw for a quarter first quarter touchdown three. pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three-touchdown half. 
And he may just be getting started. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. The sack on first down took him out of a traditional running play and put him in a passing situation, but didn't stop him from running anyway, did it? No, I was surprised when he took off. I thought, oh, he's got some space. He might pick up five, six, seven yards. He goes all the way and picks up the first. But first down, Hurts. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Campbell. But well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now second and three. Throwing his hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. Well, whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. On first and 10, it's Hurts. There's a short one caught by Uzama. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here now, second and four. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as a tackle made at the 18. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Gets past one man. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, the door. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. Nice execution there. Good job by the O-line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there. 
when you're having a big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability to see the proper holes, pick the proper place to go, and find his way into the end zone? Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at 21. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of four, and it gets him the first. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes now to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 43, here's a second and five. A give right side for Pacheco. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there, just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 12 more yards there and another first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got him in, it's Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So from the 22, here's second and two. Here's Mahomes to throw. This will be caught once again by Brown. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Now a 
it's Mahomes again. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Gray. Touchdown! Noah Gray. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Extra point by Butker is on target, and they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 20. And Smith in motion right. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Running again with Barkley on second down. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They'll run it again with Barkley. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 61 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. Hurts sets up to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On second down, here's Barkley. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They keep it with Barkley on first down. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold him. 
They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. Man up the left side is Brown. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 13-yard line. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Hey, let's face it. You can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. They'll look to throw again. Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Now still down one. Here's an utterly critical extra point attempt here. And it is good. There were about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. This Super Bowl, it has had it all so far. All tied fourth quarter as it kicks away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. KC's offense ready to take over. And this Super Bowl has been as good as advertised. Probably one of the best that we've seen in recent memory. All even here in this fourth quarter. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he comes back with one complete. Now he breaks free in the middle of the field. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. So 
So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and they jump back ahead, 35-28. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Eagles offense back out, getting set for this next drive. And it's quickly becoming now or never time in the Super Bowl, trailing by seven here in the fourth. A pivotal, pivotal moment in this football game. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Smith will come in motion right. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they'll go instead with Barkley. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility who can dance with him, run with him, and try to keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second down. Here's Barkley again. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. 81 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's taken down. A chief sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, remember, he had the interception earlier. Now he adds the sack. He's really making his presence felt out there. Oh, he is putting together a heck of a game. In fact, he's going to bump these plays to his highlight reel. Okay, so when he wants to show it off later on, look what I did out there, guys. And this offense, they've got to start paying him a little special attention. He's like a good basketball player, putting stats in every column. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Oh, Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Oh, man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. 
taken at about the 16. Shreds the tackle. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And they will take over first and 10. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. On play action, they'll throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Getting it to him in space, pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now Mahomes. Open man right side is Rice. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. 18 more yards there and another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back of the 29. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him, but even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. First down would have been nice, but now you get to kick the field goal, still go up two scores. They tried to get it, though, didn't they? Through the pass, got the completion just short of the first down, but you're exactly right. Run the field goal unit out there, kick it, put it through the post, go up two scores. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down by 10. A little under two and a half to go. They've come so far this year, but they need two quick scores late in this Super Bowl. But first down, Hurts. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. George Karloftis, his second sack of the night. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three 
have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Here's Hurts to throw. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles' first down as he'll get this down to the 47-yard line. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Second down. Here's Hurts. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Throwing his hurts. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that may write a finish to this Super Bowl. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Third and four. Again, it's Pacheco. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. 
The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bow. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team. You'll see their picture. That Your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.